following is a bantamweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Desmond Alvarado. Crowd comes to life for Desmond Alvarado, undefeated, fighting out of CMMA. What a great camp that has been here in Up Next Fighting. And in talking about his experience at CMMA, Desmond Alvarado said, it's war all the time. Yeah, during the fighter interviews, we saw a lot of smiles yesterday. This guy did not crack one smile. He is cold as ice, Todd. And I expect to see a cold customer inside the cage tonight. Ice water running through the veins of Desmond Alvarado. Looking to stay undefeated, looking to stay unblemished as we look at the keys to victory for Alvarado. Yeah, he's got to set up his takedowns with good crisp punching. Look for dominant position, but don't over pursue the finish. Stay composed. He's got the skills to pay the bills. And right now, it's time to cut a check. There you have it. We will see if Alvarado can stay unblemished. A little pre-fight ritual there with Chad George. Getting set for action, getting set to step into that war zone. And no stranger to up next fighting action is Desmond Alvarado. Had a UNF Rising Stars knockout victory, TKO over the Slim Reaper, Rayshon Rowland. Rayshon Rowland has gone on to prove how effective he can be. And Alvarado was in trouble at times in that fight, but ended up using impressive takedowns Lethal ground and pound to score the win. He's 2-0. Can he do it again? And introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Ken Fajardo. Here we see Ken Fajardo. These two have something in common, Jonathan. Both come in with an unblemished record. Fajardo, three victories under his belt. Fighting out of the fight science gym under head coach Ian Harris. Ken Fajardo, as you mentioned, 3 and 0. Oh. But you know, when he steps inside that cage, Tom, Todd, somebody's always got to go. Favorite fighters, Chuck Liddell, Manny Pacquiao, and Takanori Gomi. Wow, great stable of fighters right there. He's being able to adapt to any situation in the fight is one of his strong points. He loves video games, loves film. And Todd, who doesn't? Well, absolutely. And, and look into... Uh to have some video game type action and scoring some serious combos with his striking. And when you break down his victories, two of them by decision went the distance and has a round one submission victory by rear naked choke after over Serafino Ramos, a victory that Fajardo said really silenced the crowd. Looking to silence his un defeated opponent as we take a look at the keys to victory for Ken Fajardo. Yeah, for Fajardo, he's got to mix up the attack, keep his opponent guessing. You don't want to let him get comfortable. Make the fight a dog fight. Keep the fight standing at all costs. You do not want to go to the ground with Desmond Alvarado. And it is time to fight on. The following is a phantom weight bout scheduled for three, three minute rounds. This bout is sponsored by Safe.Pharmacy. When the bell rings, the man in charge, Ryan Spinks, and your judges for this contest, Don Howard, Felicia O, oh, and Chris Crail. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner from Whittier, California, representing CMMA, standing five foot six inches tall and weighing in at 134.4 pounds. He's coming in with a mixed martial arts record of two and oh, Desmond. And introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner from Oxnard, California, representing Fight Science, standing five foot six inches tall and weighing in at 135.8 pounds. He's coming in with a mixed martial arts record of three and one, Ken Fajardo! Stage is set as we take a look at how these two undefeated fighters 
match up with our tail of the tape. Both these guys pretty much match up evenly in the smell test. Fajardo has a little bit of a reach advantage. Let's see if he can take advantage of that by keeping Alvarado at range. Both look to bring the pressure and keep this fight in the phone booth, as you like to say. Desmond Alvarado had a lot of fanfare. You, you could hear the crowd erupt for him, but you couldn't see it on his face. He's been a stone cold killer in the cage. Both of his two victories by way of knockout in there with Fajardo, who's been a, you know, a little more varied. A couple fights went to distance as well as submission victory. You know, his striking is very reminiscent of Nick Diaz. He looks to pick punches by finding holes and landing crisp shots. Not a lot of power behind him, but they land in volume and they paint a bloody canvas. If he can do it enough, he can really start to loosen up. Alvarado had a stiff jab there seconds ago. And Ken Fajardo coming off of a UNF Rising Star split decision victory over Adam X, one in which he said he really felt like he should have finished that fight. And you gotta believe that Fajardo is gonna be aggressive this time out. This another three-rounder, given the experience of these two fighters coming in and their undefeated records. You see Fajardo come kind of charge forward on his jab. I wouldn't be surprised if Alvarado counters with a nice duck under takedown. Expect to see Chris striking by both body kick by Fajardo. Looks to follow it in. Fajardo, out of the two, has had success on the ground as well. He's got a submission victory. He's able to utilize that rear naked choke as we documented. We hear from the corner of Alvarado, he's saying, get, your fight, get the fighter on his back. Bring the fight to the mat. Sort of a stalemate on the feet here. Well, you would almost think we know what we're talking about, Jonathan King. We were just talking about that very thing. You hear it from the corner. You see, you see those shots that he's landing, Todd? Not a lot behind him, but there's a lot of intelligence in the strikes. He's finding a hole and finding a home for those shots, but Fajardo firing back as well. Both these guys evenly matched on the feet. That was a nice one-two combination there by Ken Fajardo. Blitzes in. Straight punches of his own. You know, the one thing I see Alvarado doing as a mistake is he's backing straight up, which is enabling for Hardo to land those shots instead of cutting corners and angles. But there you go, he's able to get the fight to the mat just like his coaches were asking for. 37 seconds left in the round. Can he do anything with it though, Todd? Yeah, it's, it's Desmond Alvarado that takes this thing down to the mat. And we'll see what he can do with it. Certainly aggression, riding time here, cage control, all those things that are so important in the overall scoring. Beautiful move by Alvarado. Control the hips of Ken Fajardo there. Fajardo doing a great job to get back to a vertical base here. Still grounded. Knees though there to the hamstring. That'll give you a bad attitude in a hurry. So although Fajardo got back to his feet, he's paying for it. Great action by both. Competitive first round between two very well matched fighters on paper and it's proving to live up to that. Both came in undefeated. Great striking by both. Don't worry. It's fake. Let's go. Fake bomb. Fake class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds. That's a different story. Verify your meds with Safe.Pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. Theo's got to go for one. And we take a look at your unofficial scorecard as John King scores it. How do you see it? I have the fight so far, 10-9. Alvar I mean, Alvarado winning the first round in a very, very, very close fight. So could have gone anyone's way, but I saw it for Alvarado. There you have it in between rounds, instructions being given, fine tuning being done. And who will be able to come out of the blocks offensively here in round two, try and turn the tide. Action in the Rising Stars division, undefeated fighters going at it toe to toe early in the career, both showing that they've Got the makings of something great in this great sport.
And up next, fighting, giving them that canvas to paint the picture of what they are capable of doing. Bill Sounds off and running with our second of three three-minute rounds. Fajardo doubling up on the outside leg kick. Burying a nice left hand to the liver, too, following up with a second one. A variety of strikes early by Ken Fajardo. Nice body kick from Alvarado. And inside leg kick as well. Both come out swinging. Trying to find that distance. Beautiful job by Fajardo to shrug off that takedown attempt from Alvarado. Now Alvarado was looking to double up, scored a takedown in round one. Unsuccessful. Got stuck that time. What you see early in the second round, you see more volume from Fajardo. Body kick by Fajardo. Been busy with those throughout the fight thus far. And the takedown oh. attempt again in deep is Alvarado and scores it. He just sucked up that single leg, brought the fight to the mat. Beautiful job. Fajardo trying to create a little bit of space here, but Alvarado sponging it out. Desmond Alvarado can close that gap in a hurry. He's got Fajardo stacked up, trying to establish side control, and does so. Gets that body weight down. Now a little north-south. Fajardo trying to step over the leg here to get back to his feet. Good job. Now able to scramble to a single leg of his own. And again, neither of Alvarado's previous victories have come on the ground. He's at least not by submission. He has uh, won both by knockout. And using that single leg peck there was Fajardo to get back to a vertical base. Good work. Nice right hand from Alvarado. One, two from Alvarado. Another crisp right hand from Desmond Alvarado as Fajardo lands a left hand over the top. Really was a nice series of strikes by Alvarado. We'll see if he can build on it now. It's Fajardo looking to take this thing to the ground. Out of the scramble, who's going to get the better of this? Got to be careful. Almost had the, maybe the makings of a darts there momentarily, Jonathan. Yeah, it looked like he had the Bravo set up, but he was unable to finish it as Fajardo scrambled. But still in dominant position, you see as Devin and Alvarado does a great job of establishing his position as he sits down, puts his weight on his opponent, and just takes control of the fight. Alvarado working out of the half guard here of Ken Fajardo. Short time here in the second round. Yes, indeed, and, but staying busy here. Did you see shoulder strikes on the, uh, on the ground there? And now a full mount. Full mount by Alvarado. Can he do something with seconds to go here? He's utilizing that shoulder to stay busy with the strikes, but keep his opponent close as well. Yeah. Tale of two rounds right there. Fajardo came out swinging early on, but Alvarado took control late in the round. Beautiful takedowns, big shots. A little bit of blood coming from the nose of Alvarado. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. You can hear Chad George there saying you want to win this fight and then following up with his thoughts on the action so far. And on the flip side, we can see the words of wisdom by the corner of Ken Fajardo. Competitive, competitive fight as we knew it would be coming in between two tough young fighters, both coming in with spotless records. Someone's O has to go, Todd. And this round is going to determine who walks away with their hand raised at the end of this fight. Absolutely great work by our production team. A look into the corners of both. Three minutes remain in this one to determine who will take home the victory. Continue to roll and stay undefeated. The Cage Girls of UNF, of course, stop bad meds. Bad meds kill real people. Verify your meds.
at Safe Dot Pharmacy. Over a million dying each year by counterfeit meds. It's great to be part of this purpose-driven event. Another takedown by Alvarado is starting to squirm it well, John. Yeah, he just locks up those hips, and it's like a, a, a club on a steering wheel. There's no way you can get away from it. He just, as soon as he gets the hips, you know, it, it, Fajardo finds his back, and, and that's exactly the story so far. Desmond Alvarado just dominating where the fight goes, determining where the fight goes, and controlling the pace and the real estate so far in this fight. Stepping over the mount now. They might have the makings of a, of a guillotine here. Over the top and, and, and mounted as well as Fajardo. In some monicum of trouble right now, but trying to fight it. But more grinding offense by, by Alvarado, who's you know, maintained his aggressiveness on the ground throughout. Right, and you see here, if he can get to side control, he has a much better advantage of cinching in that Darce choke that you mentioned earlier. But he seems more uh, content to work out of the mouth. Keep the fingers out of the fist. Right in, uh, right in our laps here, right in front of the broadcast position. Picking the ankle there was Alvarado, continues to go for to work here, body lock, high crotch, looking for another takedown, Beautiful. and scores it, folds Fajardo up like an accordion up against the cage. Alvarado sucks up the leg, runs the pipe, and brings the fight to the mat again. And time is a ticking here for Ken Fajardo. Under a minute 20 to go. Now in the fight. Very competitive fight, and now Fajardo, sense of urgency kicks in, and he starts cutting cork. Just over a minute left in the round. Who wants it more, Todd? Wild shot by Fajardo. You can tell this fight has taken a toll. His arms start to get pretty heavy. A lot of fatigue in the arms of Ken Fajardo, but he's doing his best to fight through it. Sure is, showing a lot of heart, a lot of tenacity. Both fighters Ooh. have. Knees now by Fajardo, but I just think the Alvarado seems the more composed fresher of the two at this point. Like I mentioned, this kid is cold and calculated. He's an absolute serial killer inside the cage. Alvarado looking to take the back here, trying to get that hook in, and now starts to unload with some ground and pound late in the fight. Nothing sets up a hook like smashing somebody in the head. And he's got the choke, Todd. Looking to put him away. Can Fajardo survive and weather the storm? Seconds remaining. Seconds remaining. It's going to be tap or nap for Fajardo. Yeah, he gave the thumbs up and he's still alive. Yeah. Great toughness by Ken Fajardo to survive, to send this thing to the scorecards instead of being sent to tap town. Unbelievable fight for both these guys, both undefeated so far. Who's going to walk away with the victory? What a fight and what a last minute submission attempt for Desmond Alvarado. And you got to credit Ken Fajardo with a ton of toughness for sticking in there. Yeah, he's all heart, man. He came out in the beginning frame of each round and started throwing big shots, but his gas tank just wasn't there. The takedowns of Desmond Alvarado just wearing down Ken Fajardo over time. You see it on his face. He's wearing it, Todd. Exhausted. Left it all out there, though. If things don't go his way on the scorecards, nothing to be ashamed of. Gave everything he had. Did Ken Fajardo. Let's take a look back at some of the action from this fight, and there should be lots of it. It was a good one as we relive some of the key moments of action. You see him get on the hips of Fajardo. Once he locks up the hips, every time he's able to control the hips, he was able to score the takedown. Ken Fajardo just doing a great job of bringing the fight where he can only win. There's a nice one-two there by Alvarado as well. There you see out of the scramble, Alvarado was so effective on the ground throughout the fight. And we mentioned it before, setting up position before going for the submission. And that's exactly what Desmond Alvarado did over and over and over again. He created a position, maintained that position by being dominant, and Fajardo had to fight his way through it. Great job from Desmond Alvarado. You see just takedown after takedown for Fajardo, and 
What an effort, though, or, or by Alvarado. What an effort by Fajardo late, and then finds himself in the clinch, in the rear naked here the by body Alvarado. Too. And, but held on. Never say die. The Goonies got nothing on Ken Fajardo, who will uh, survive to see the decision ushered in. Here to do just that, Adnan Qureshi. Ladies and gentlemen, judges Felicia O oh and Chris Crail have scored this bout 30-27, while Judge Don Howard has scored this bout 29-28. All in favor of your winner by a unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Desmond Alvarado! Put on a clinic to the Still undefeated, Desmond Alvarado strikes, takedown, submission attempts, threw it all at Ken Fajardo, who showed his toughness as well, and Ashley Evan Smith standing by. All right, I'm standing with your winner, Desmond Alvarado, who moves to a perfect 3-0. Desmond, how's it feel to be on this win streak? What do you want to say to the crowd? First, I want to thank God for allowing me and my opponent to get back home to our family safely. What we did right now was between me and him, very intimate. I'm glad you guys got to experience that. I'm glad you guys got to enjoy it. Nothing but respect from him. Second, I want to thank my support system. Man. We can feel the support in this room. Now, your opponent was a tough guy. Did you ever feel in danger at any point of the fight? No way, no, no, no. A uh, little fatigue, right? That's just part of the game a little bit. But honestly, what I always say is, I know what it takes to defeat me, they don't know what it takes to defeat me. They think, they kind of have ideas, but they don't really know until you experience it one-on-one. -on -one. But sir, again, I want to thank everybody, all my family. Man, these guys keep me alive over here. Look at that. Yeah. What can we see next from you? Will you be in the UNF cage? What do you got going on? My coach makes those decisions. I want to thank CMMA, all my teammates. Man, those guys, we go through these type of wars day to day to day. All the pros at my gym set the standard. I'm just, I'm really glad I get to earn my spot in there. Chad George, my dad, Dave Waters, Rodel Mayo, everybody, thank you guys. Thank you so much. One more time, Desmond Alvarado.